In previous videos, I've described tennis leg in terms of who it affects, what it is, and why and when it's more likely to happen. The reality is that it's players like me, a little older, a lot more out of condition, but still expecting to play like I used to. That obviously wasn't me. This is. And as you can see, well, at a stretch, there are certain similarities in function, if not in form. It's Justine's speed and range of movement that stand out. So how do you and I improve our form in function? And what do these terms really mean? Well, function is just simply like any given task in all three planes of motion. We are three-dimensional creatures. Yeah. We move in all three planes of motion, and we're very task-orientated. We're goal-driven. Right. If I need to pick up a cup from a table, right. I need to be able to control and stabilize myself to pick up that cup and then bring it back. Right. Right. Right? But I do this in all three planes of motion, but I do it from the ground up. Right. So function right. is the task, in this instance a That's tennis right. stroke, so and like here's Troy on how he set about improving my form. In all three planes of motion, to make you more efficient so that you have the power to actually come through without giving you any injury. In these early sessions, I move more like a baby elephant than a tennis player. Good job. Excellent. Good. I know it's like dancing, but you get down. <laughs> Go again. I've never danced like that. You've never danced like that. You've never yeah. done that. The... Fortunately for me, the function was never going to be dancing. All of these exercises are developing my form for my chosen function, playing tennis. The balance reach exercises are just that. I'm developing my ability to reach and come back in balance. These arm movements and small weights work on the abs, vital for core strength and stability in all three planes of motion. Working with the forces of gravity and ground reaction are key components in any functional program. I need to be able to control what's happening. Oh, right, so, so the gravity is pushing you down, yeah, and it's the ground re reaction force that's pushing you up. That's correct. And so when you have it in your muscles, take advantage of that, you're not going to get the unload. That's right. right. These are some more of the exercises I did with Troy, which helped me develop a base level of functional flexibility. Second on that set. Down four more. Good. Four more. If your exercise program doesn't look like tennis, or smell like tennis, it probably isn't going to help your tennis. That's a paraphrase of something Gary Gray, a preeminent practitioner in applied functional science, constantly says about golf exercise program. If you're struggling to see tennis in these exercises, here's Troy to explain. The other part of it is when you're here, my back should be extended this way. Okay. Yeah. So I'm now, about there, I think. that's all through the front there, isn't it? Yeah. As well. And that's going to be the adductors, all everything else, the other sides, and your doubles. Which then comes back to the again. Down to up. Right. So that's good. But it, it, all of those ranges of motion that we've gone through for your lunge matrix yeah. are going to help you. Right. Because you're trying to turn everything off from one explosion to another. Look out for future tennis leg videos for more exercises to develop functional flexibility. I couldn't hold that position. No, but that's because we've given you the motion through your foot, flexibility through your hips. Now you're able to load your abdominals to then drive it through. Fortunately, catching wasn't the function. Let's catch. 